Welcome back in Integrative Studio and in this video I'm going to show you how you can convert or make a dynamic replication system uh, and how you can basically convert your you know, first person to any type of third person shooting stuff to a dynamic shooting system. So if you remember our this uh, tutorial series of PDP shooting system so I show lots of pretty system like ADS and we build all of them in our previous videos. So now we are going to convert it for multiplayer or replication system as well. So I pretty much done everything that was basically needed to make. So now we need we are first uh, I'm going to show you how it's look like and how we need to convert that. So first for testing any multiplayer in your local network, it's you just set it as a client and just set it to two player and make sure you start in a standalone. Now there is a basically a different in a real server and a local based server. Make sure the local based server is not 100% accurate how it going to be work or perform in a dedicated multiplayer server. For example like if I watch, if you don't know what about dedicated server it's kind of like a real server like why it's hosting somewhere and basically two players can connect from anywhere like if your friend live in the USA you are living in Bangladesh and you are going to play the same match in the same time and you will be the same place in a, a same map so that is a basically a dedicated server but the local server is mean that only who are connected with your same Wi-Fi or a LAN connection they are only able to connect this PC or the same map others are not this is basically different uh, the dedicated uh, server and the uh, local server so as I said, it's totally different. Uh, always doesn't perform 100% accurate. So you, yeah. So it's mean that even if you are get achieve 100% what you want in a local server, but maybe it's not work in the dedicated server. Okay, it's not 100% uh, person, you know that furnished stuff. So that's why what I want to mean before this stuff. Okay, okay. So now let me show you, I just uh, turn off my volume of the game sound so I can show you. Okay, so whenever you run this thing uh, at here, the first thing you will find like this, this and a this system. This is basically your console look, how the server performing and what it's doing. And for the first thing you can see the aim offset, it's not working perfectly. Okay, now even if I'm firing from this one, you can see my second player or my right side player can't see that I'm firing. Even if I'm loading or what, it's not seeing anything, but it's seeing my movement because it's replicating perfect. Okay, by default, Unreal Engine character class are pretty much replicated lots of stuff, but some of cases we need to do something in a manually. Okay, so first let's remove this thing okay and close make sure that you do, uh, check your editor and it doesn't have any extra panel okay like any custom logs or anything otherwise it's going to be give you a problem okay by the way this video in a uh, record in a 4k so you can just you know increase your video quality performance okay so now for making this thing as you can see now the first problem is we are not just using only one base for example what is the one base and multi base or dynamic system like as you can see i'm using the same stuff code for the multiple stuff and i'm just changing the camera stuff only at here all the arrow location or my weapon location that's going to be spawned so that's what i need to customize that here that we need to make a system that it can be used and everywhere it's a dynamic we just say, do some simple changes and it should be work okay so let's go to the uh, fire replication so you can make a uh, make a array or you know you can make a category of course if you want so let's give it a replication replication fire logics i'm choosing in a macro function because it's more easy to use and it's have an input and output as execution so we can do pretty much lots of things rather than a function okay you can use a function it doesn't matter but the macro is more perfect I, in my uh, opinion okay yeah but yeah some of cases you do, can't use some stuff that which is maybe you need so it's a bit depends on you let's give it a category name replication so it will be easiest for to find in our replication category okay cool now we have a replication category first let me just remove this uh, which i created lots of functions and macros events that to make it as clean as possible okay the first thing we need to study our codes that how we coded at here that it's need to be work okay the first thing 
about here the line dress we doesn't need to replicate okay now there is your basically your experience will work that uh, which thing you need to replicate and which thing you don't need or uh, not required to replicate okay kind of like this line dress system because this line dress system is going to be working a local base and it just need a output and input value that why it should be the replication part will be this our bullet part that why it's going to show visually and this vfx that's or the sounds that we are playing want to play okay so we can now that's why i said that your experience will be work at here because i've worked on lots of stuff so i know that which thing i need to replicate and which thing i'm not so that's the same thing for you you know you already did that so you know that which thing you need to replicate okay so first thing this is my simple fire logic in a fire mode so that it's basically checking that if i'm dead or reloading and then if i have my ammo to fire it's playing the montage instead of that this is the simple logic for the fire logic stuff before it's going on a shooting mode now you can see i have there one more system called aiming or ads system too because if i'm on aiming so if i'm aiming so you can see that it's going to then separate into more variant or two more route which is basically check the if i'm in ads mode one or ads mode two it's going to be different uh behave different okay because i know which thing i need to do so here from here we are going to convert everything to macro functions which is allow us to convert it more perfect so first thing i'm going to convert it for the location setter the line trace location setter if you want you can do that if you you know kind of like that i'm going to convert this whole line trace system and i will just a one uh, macro function so it's going to be make it this thing like so how first i'm going to create a uh, basically line trace system or in a First, in a macro function, you go to macro function. Let's create another macro function called uh, line trace logic. And let's make a category called logics. Okay, so we have a logics part. Okay, cool. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm just simply copy this whole code that I did at here. Just simply this whole code, nothing else. Okay, just simply code that what I want rotation event okay and there's a make sure that I hit I make a hit count system I guess it's for the oh yeah it's for the you know the decal that it's going to spawn okay now at our line system let's paste this thing okay the first thing this is the stuff that we need to decide that what we need first thing we need an action so in an input section let's give it name called action okay in, oh sorry okay action so uh, first it will be we need a action second we need a targeter that it's going to be work for the uh, camera or the starting point okay so from that I'm going to simply just connect a pin and this is a basically a scene component class because it's a you know this is under of our component classes that's why and let's give it name that uh, camera uh, camera component let's give it just camera okay camera data camera uh, start data oh uh, come on okay now i can connect both of them at share so i can remove this thing second this is basically the range that i want to uh the line trace basically the line trace basically the you know kind of like uh the value that how much further it can be go so I'll, i'm promoting that a value then let's give it a line trace max value Okay, I'm going to keep it a category in a of the default value. Okay, so it's under the default value, so I know that uh, you know it it's need to be default. I, I don't really need to change it unless I want to do some customization. Okay, so this is basically the default line trace. Okay, cool. Now, actually, this is a debugging type of line trace. So debug. Uh, draw debug. Uh, let's give it name line trace. Okay, cool. And because we already have the category, so we'll simply just change to default values. 
category okay now this is the start and end so actually we have this thing thing and now we need we have this thing which is basically the uh, start or the weapon uh, or the bullet location so it's kind of like a bullet location where it should be spot so i'm going to connect right here and i'm going to give it name that bullet uh, arrow location arrow bullet Spawn location. Okay, and this is basically how the bullet will be spawned. Okay, this is basically the inputs we need, and as the output, will we get that what we need basically? The first thing we need is basically you can see the line dress endpoint, the rotation, and this as you can see there's a one more look uh, rotation available now. After that line dress, we can check that what we are using like in wire and what so this is for non heat that if it's not heating that that is to give you the output of the value that okay if it's not heating any wire of it's heating there's a basically difference okay so now a line dress logic we need to make a, a, a law a separate stuff okay so the first thing will be that uh, all will be the same at here for the non heat system so will we give it name that non heat non heat location then we give it a value for rotation non heat rotation okay this is the two thing that we need for the first one okay to replace this system okay then we need a basically a block heat if it's a block heating doing then it will be on the heat stuff like after the heat what will be it will be do so the multi line dress what we need is basically on uh, at here the starting will be the same for the location spawn but the rotation will be from decided from after the heat event basically so at our line dress logics will we get the same thing for the hit location hit location and we'll be get a rotation for the hit rotation a rotation like that okay cool now we have this thing so now the funniest part is that here you can see it's a deciding which thing it's need to be give output to be honest okay if it's a heating or non heating or what whatever so so now in a macro function i'm not sure that if we can get two different type of output or not we can't do so because we can't do so we need to basically execute with one even if it's a heating or non heating it will be give the output as the result so i'm going to connect with the sequence okay so I'm going to use a two type of sequence node at here one sequence will be go by default how it should be and there's a one more sequence will be at here in the first place which is can be used as at this one okay like this to execute this point and we'll be give that output a result like this and you can basically drag and drop in the first place so you don't need to just you know remove all and again press it when I snob I tweet that so yeah something like this so we have you can see now we have the full line dress system in just in a one function so now the funniest part we don't need this this thing so just remove it oh sorry uh, I'm not sure why it's not removing what the heck I guess there's something happened let's see I, I'm not sure but I guess there's a something happen on the editor that it's not deleting those codes okay we have the our logic school now let's see oh yeah now it's working okay so we don't need this part we don't even need this part we don't need even this part just see how much code is reduct from here oh basically i delete one stuff that i need is this arrow one so i'm just going to delete those 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 add those stuff 
and just look how much code we just comp uh, compress in a just a one of, uh, you know and a just a one logic so in our replication slash replication file logics uh, oh sorry now line trace logic hey address logic oh this is the offline version so yeah oh sorry it's under the logics i'm so sorry uh, i didn't even check okay so look we have everything in just one function which is cool right so now we can basically connect our ttp cam with this start location we can set as the action then we need to set a arrow location that the blood will be spawned now we have the hit location and what we want basically because both are doing to, going to be same thing so we can remove these lines of part and just spawn to whatever we want okay now but there's a heat effect are available so it's going to be a work with uh, the what I say like this is basically the impactor like it's going to be give output that uh, kind of like a de uh, decal so I'm going to basically change that to add here so it's basically work on with the heat events so if there's any heat events or not so if that there's any heat events it should be work with this otherwise it's not should be it's kind of like uh heat or non heat stuff so what i'm going to do is at the result i'm going to change some simple logics which is basically if it's heating and it's have a heat result it will be give that result hit okay or it will be give the hit result or if it's not it will be give that non hit result okay so there's a one more execution will be and i will give it that non hit so this is a one more execution it will be stay up like this so if it's non hit like this on like this and if it's a hit then it will be give me the hit result so now I can specify that okay which one it should be work and which is not so make a root x is kind of like uh, you know the detail uh, decal location so I'm going to specify for me you know this is simple lines of code so yeah we can keep it at here on the even graph because this is just a hit location effect uh, is simple one so we can keep it so you can see now we have a non hit location and a hit result if it's a hit uh, or whatever it will be okay uh, oh yeah there's something i need to write at here uh, result so it will be look more relevant okay cool so just look how much we compressed at here like we basically just fully convert everything in just a one single uh blueprint no which is basically the good thing for you to understand and make your code more clean and clean and this is totally guys a dynamic now i don't need to replace this seven time or 13 time again i just going to just copy this only just single blueprint and just it's going to be work okay we have the cam now let's make the replication for the shooting one okay and make sure this is with a just a, uh without the aim so at here let's make that replication fire so replication fire logics so in the replication fire logics i'm not sure that fm can, can create customer that is the basic the main problem of this hal macro function that we can't make it uh kind of like you know in a, under the macro we can't create a custom event so that is the most hell stuff okay uh we can create under the you know and the functions and the problem of the function that is have the output i guess uh, let's see it's, I, there we can't use the delay that is the oh what the fuck that we I can't even use it here wow cool so let's see i guess we can we need to keep the replication part at here we don't have any other choice at here because we need to use the custom events to call out those idiot logics so at here let's make the spawning logic so first will be a run server so fire on server so 
So fire system run on multicast then we'll need a custom event so custom event so fire on LC which is basically local or you can I just simply call it SC SV and LC, SC L uh, sorry LC so it's make me more easy to remember those you know I just use the code words so use those okay now we have this thing now we need to connect like this we need to transfer the class that we want to spawn at here so at here on the functions even graph you can call that and you can connect it to be honest and drag with the class so at here I'm going to give I need basically the bullet class so bullet class then we need a spawn location then we need a rotation actually uh, about the collisions um, it doesn't matter to be honest too much we can keep it as a default uh, but I'm going to select it here okay like this okay so this is basically spawning bullets so now because this is a dynamic one we can call that server because every time we need to first call server then it should be working in a multi-class so let's work first with a non-hit what happens if it's non-hit so if it's non-hit the there will be bullet class so the bullet class will be kind of like the BP bullet the spawn location will be non-hit non-rotation non-hit rotation and the default color will be still collide okay try to adjust the location if it's uh, don't uh, spawn if it's colliding okay that is the basic the logics for here okay now we need to move this system which is basically the bullet shells and others so it's working after the recall one so we can uh, keep it at here so simply copy that and paste at here now what we need you can see first we need to connect with the location one here's the location and this is actually a sound for the bullet fire so sound and anti sound i give it the fire sound uh i guess i need some more space at here on the top let's get some let's borrow some space okay now connect with the server so we can now select the which sound we want to play of pilot save then there's a basically a stuff for the muzzle flash so the muzzle flash will be basically uh, the weapon location okay so you know the from where the bullet will is spawning so basically the spawning location okay not okay look there's a problem i guess I, I think i missed something this is giving the uh hit location uh, i also want a uh a spawning location so let's create another one and let's give it that uh let spawn location okay now that is the thing that i need at here because uh this this is basically the hit location that if it's it is hitting or not so the decal can be work at here this is used by the decal okay like whether it's need to be you know uh at here you can see that where it should be go in a which location basically it's decide the location and the rotation okay so this will be go actually with this one okay the fire bullet the spawn and the rotation will be go with the hit rotation so it will be like this the bullet spawn location and it will be go with the rotation okay now it will be work to be honest and now at here on the relative transform i'm going to break it and make it transform now because it's a components class i don't think we need to replicate the targeted as well so just keep it a manual uh, attachment and the location is actually the spot location of the bullet so i can use the spawn location of the bullet 
the rotation is actually the same that the spawn rotation now there's a problem at here like I need that the bullet uh, rotation as well so you know that why it's looking at actually uh, uh -huh. okay that's this is a great problem for the dynamic one we need to do so I guess sub test at here okay because I need now rotation I need basically the arrow uh, rotation so uh, I need basically this thing uh, rotation so get world rotation and we need to connect directly let's give the same thing but at here it will be changed to the rotation okay I guess now it's a more uh, precise precisely has it should be work so we have now rotation that I want uh, so yeah so the bullet will be rotate to this one and the muzzle flash this is for the muzzle flash rotation so the Slash okay, now we have this thing mother flash rotation. This will be this one, and the scale is good, so now we don't need this arrow one. Okay, for the hit one, this is a hit count like once basically firing and if it's getting any hit it should be behave differently so this is for the non hit one okay and uh, the buzzer flash now should work so compile and save now let's see how it's performed and if you need any customization we'll do that so make sure as I said it's not for non hit so we need to hit a uh, fire on a sky to see that how it's behaving <laughs> so I guess you could see that hmm. it's not replicating yet let's see Oh, why it's not okay let's make this one as well just connect spawn location of the bullet the rotation will be hit I'm just curious about this one There's a mistake. The hit pressure will be, should be come from here. That impact point or impact location actually. Hmm. So the bullet is spawning from here. The rotation is there. The mother flash will be from here. Where be it will be hit will we get the hit location yeah cool uh, basically at here it will be it's speed that why it's basically hitting it so yeah so we did the hit location to affect it and the same for the hit effect if it's not hitting on any location okay now it should be first replicate on the server the class 
the bullet, spotty, that the muzzle flash, particle. All are look good and let me just remove this AI that is on because it's doing too much problem. Okay, I guess now we can see it. Okay, yeah, this is basically the this one issue. So, okay, only that the heating is thing is not replicating. And the muzzle flash, I guess. So, Okay, cool. So, uh, we need to work some on the flash and this one. Let's go to target. The target will be self oh come on self data and the self data will be self and this is basically for the heating one right hmm Let's get it and because it's working with this one and eventually it's needed that so like this it's need basically the heat location so whether it's hitting so he need the heat location so at here we need to give heat location And from that sheet location, he will convert his uh, rotation as well. So the this is basically the non heat location, and this is for the heat location. Compile and save. So we don't need to now use this macro, uh, the heating macro one. So we can remove that. Oh, by the way, we can't aim, so we need to remember that. So just I'm keeping it like this. Now let's try. Okay, now you can see that I can simply see my muzzle flash. Okay, and even if I'm flying, uh, hitting on sky. Uh, okay, it's uh, hitting on my same line trust, so it should be the end point. Uh, otherwise, if I oh sorry, if I hit on ground, you can see my muzzle flash, and. I guess the bullet as well. Okay, so you know the bullet is basically very fast to see. Uh, I guess we need to replicate our bullet component as well. Uh, I'm not sure we, if we can see the bullet or not. Uh, I'm going to change this condition to always spawn and 
the bullet is basically check the replication replicated uh other sir look okay a replicate is uh, replicate the movement always uh, okay look okay now Now let's see how it's worked. I can't see the bullet yet. I'm not sure. Uh, I will check that later, I guess, in what is the actual issue. Like, really, it's not spawning the bullet or not, or what it should be because there's uh, nothing more at here. Like, we select in the class, we still that which classes need to be spawn, you know, at the spawn actor. We give the collide stuff that why it should be polite or not okay cool we have this thing uh, so we can remove these lines of code and this is after all everything uh, for this is basically going to be work in a local base okay uh, the recall system and eventually oh also this fire system we don't need more ah, okay there's a one more thing is left which is the bullet shell so the bullet shell is different actually uh, the bullet shell I make it kind of like you know it's spawning from the player right side so even if doing it's everything or not so I want that the bullet a shell system so it will be only the bullet and secondly So this is basically the bullet shell class so bullet that's it shell so this is for the bullet shell and this is going to be work with the bullet shell location and rotation so I'm going to just simply convert that to a this one and use at here that bullet shell comes from okay so this is basically the class for the bullet shell so we can basically connect that here we just get the wall transform for the bullet shell get wall transform so this is the basically the bullet shell actually uh, bullet shell and the bullet shell transform okay cool i guess that's all in this video see you in next video